In this video, I'll show you how to add a UWP target to your existing Xamarin form solution so that you have to change no code, but you suddenly get the UW app for free. So for this demo, we're going to add a UWP target to our Xamarin form solution. Um, so what I'm using here for a demo is my dark mode sample from another video, which you can see here if you click in the top right corner of this uh, video. And you can see my shared project is already set up as well as my Android and iOS project. But um, you might find yourself that you have started this solution on a Mac where UWP is not uh, enabled or, you know, you didn't have the need for a UWP target at the time, but you do want to add a UWP app um, right now. So, you know, I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, just right click on the solution here and we're going to say add a new project. And then in the project templates, we are going to find the Windows Universal one. Um, and we're going to add a blank app. So I'm just going to search for blank app here. And it should come up with a Universal Windows app. So here we go. That's it. Uh, make sure to click the C Sharp one or, you know, if you like Visual Basic. Uh, but I'm not sure how that will support for uh, Xamarin Form. So we are going to go for the C Sharp one. We're going to click Next. Um, so for the name, I mean, you're free to do anything, but it probably makes sense to follow the naming that you already have in the rest of your project. So in this case, it's going to be dark mode sample dot UWP. And now I'm going to click Create and it will create a new UWP app. Uh, we just have to pick the target version that you want to be targeting and the minimum version uh, that you want to be supporting. So this is probably what you're going to see here is probably uh, dependent on what you have installed on your system. Um, I think these suggestions are fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK here and it will uh, start generating this project for me. Now, the first thing we want to do is probably install Xamarin Forms as a NuGet package as well. So you go to the references, right click, and we're going to say manage NuGet packages. Then in the screen that comes up, make sure you're on browse and we're going to search for Xamarin Forms. Uh, now make sure that you have installed the same version on all the platforms. So the latest version right now is 4.81364. Uh, so double check on your other platforms that that is also the version that you have installed here. Um, so we're going to manage the NuGet packages of our iOS project. It's 4.81364. Um, so I'm going to install that on the UWP one as well. Um, so another note right here is Xamarin Essentials, for instance, is installed on my iOS project and also on Android and my shared project. Uh, make sure that any NuGet package that you're using is also installed on your new UWP app. So going back to the NuGet manage screen for UWP, go to install Xamarin Forms. Okay, I accept. So this is installed right now. You can see Xamarin Forms is added. Let, let's also add Xamarin Essentials so that I have all the dependencies that I'm looking for. Xamarin Essentials, install. Okay, I accept. And boom, Xamarin Essentials is installed as well. Um, so now that we've that set up, uh, let's get rid of these screens here. Uh, this getting started screen, you know, there might be some information useful for you, but not right now. So let's get that out of the way Do not distract us. And the next thing that you want to do is go to your configuration manager of the builds to make sure that your UWP app builds with the rest of the solution. To do that, you go to build and then to configuration manager, which is the last option. And here we can see for the different solutions for the different configurations. So here we have debug and any CPU. Uh, you want to make sure that you're uh, building the right things here. So as you can see, this is not building right now. Um, what we want to do is set this to both build and deploy whenever all the other things are uh, building as well. Uh, deploy is specifically needed for how uh, UWP apps work uh, so that it deploys it automatically um, whenever you run it. 
as a debug uh, configuration. Uh, you might want to also check this out for your release uh, configuration, which is the same, and you probably want this to build as well. Uh, not entirely sure on the deploy, kind of depends on your scenario. Um, I don't think the deploy is needed. We're going to check this anyway, just to be sure. So then this is done. You don't have to save it. It does it automatically whenever you click the checks or whatever. So we're going to close this screen. Now, the other thing that you want to do because uh, all the shared code is in our shared project right here. So we also need a uh, reference from our UWP app to our shared project right here because Android and iOS have the same thing. They all have a reference here under references um to our dark mode sample see so let's do that also for uwp again we're going to right click the references and we're going to say uh this time add reference and this should bring us in a screen which can um, add references to all kinds of things but we're going to click here to the projects pane which will uh, only list the projects that are in our solution and we're going to reference the dark mode sample which is the shared project in this case just click ok and it will add the reference to that so now we can use all the code that is in our shared library there as well so now we can reference all the code that is in our uh, shared library right here so just like our ios and android project so that's all set up now we need to add some more initialization code so let's go to our app xaml uh, and more specifically our app xaml.cs and we're going to have to find a line that says root frame dot navigation failed and we need to add something uh, underneath that so let's scroll down a little bit here on line 51 um, so we are going to add a new line here and we're going to say xamarin.forms uh, .forms, which is kind of funny dot in it so we need a little bit of an initialization line here and we are going to pass e which is the launch activated event arcs uh, from our on launched event of the uwp app we're going to pass that in to this xamarin forms initialization line um, and you know if you uh, want to know what it does under the covers go to the xamarin forms repo go check it out but for now it's enough to know that this is needed to get your application running um, also we want to go to make some changes in our app XAML itself. Then when you've done this, we're going to go to the main page because you know Xamarin Forms is going to create this whole page for us. Uh, it's going to load its layouts and pages uh, all in this, this main page thing. So we need to make some changes here. Uh, let's make sure that we just have the code here. Uh, and what you want to add is the forms namespace. So we've got a couple of namespace declarations here, and we're just going to add the one for forms. So we are going to say XML namespace forms is using xamarin.forms.platform.uwp. Uh, now it knows about our forms uh, namespace right here. So now we can use that in the rest of our page. And we're going to remove this grid right here. And then we're going to change the page to a forms windows page. Um, so now it will use this window pa Windows page, which is probably some kind of subclass of the regular page, which, which does some specific things to forms that they uh, need to, to set things up. Um, so, you know, this is, this is all you got to do here. Um, again, if you want to know what it does under the hood, go to the repository and uh, it's all right there. Uh, now, this also has a um, code behind page, of course. So we want to go to the main page, XAML CS, and we want to make sure that this inherits now also from uh, the Windows page, which it's not going to know about here. So we're going to add the using statement as well. I'm going to let the IntelliSense fix this, but if you want to do it yourself, you just go up here and add the uh, using Xamarin Forms platform UWP as well. Now, the last thing we want to do is bootstrap our app object that is in our shared project. So to do that, we're going to go to our main page uh, constructor right here. And we're just going to leave this line here that is needed to initialize all the XAML that is in there. And we're just going to say load application, which is available because we are uh, getting this from the Windows page uh, subclassing. And we're going to pass in our uh, Xamarin Forms application here. So we're going to say new, and in this case, it's dark mode sample dot app, which is the thing that lives in our shared project. There we go. Um, add a 
semicolon at the end. And that's it. That's all we need to do to hook up our app. Uh, so let's save this. Let's set the startup project to be UWP. Uh, and let's run it and see what happens. Uh, it's now going to build our UWP app for the first time. And what we expect to see is actually the same app uh, without any changes that we've made. Um, the app that we've made on iOS and Android. But now it will depl be deployed to UWP without too much effort. I just added the UWP target. Um, and here we go. Welcome to Xamarin Forms. Start developing now. Um, to have a look at what this app does for the rest with the light and dark mode, um, go check out the uh, episode on uh, how to implement dark mode. But for now, this is how you implement uh, your UWP target in your existing Xamarin Forms solution. There's also a pretty good docs page on how to do this. Uh, you can find that in the notes below. Uh, thank you for joining me again. Please let me know in the comments what you think. If there's any other subject that you need, uh, I'll be happy to uh, create a video for you and explain. Um, please, if you haven't yet, subscribe, like, do all the things, share this with friends, tell them to subscribe as well, and I'll see you for the next video.